Queen's Indian Defense, Fianchetto, Main Line, 9, F5. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but Black was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Opening with the Queen's Pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. e6 opens up a line for the dark-squared bishop and prepares to castle quickly, while preparing to push a pawn to d5 and recapture with a pawn if captured. nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. The queen's Indian defense prepares to fianchetto the light-squared bishop on b7, where it will have influence on the long diagonal. g3 prepares to fianchetto the light-squared bishop on g2, where it will sit on the long diagonal. bb7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. bg2 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. B7 develops the bishop and prepares to castle. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. And C3 develops the knight toward the center and controls the d5 and e4 squares. And e4 places the knight on a center square where it attacks the knight on c3 and the f2 pawn. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Takes back. F5 gains space on the king side and controls the e4 square. It is the last book move. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is best. This pins a pawn, which restricts its mobility. It is excellent. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is good. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. Right on target. It is best. This kicks an opposing bishop. It is excellent. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is a mistake. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures, from a previous move. It is best. This move puts the knight on a safer square. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is good. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This prevents the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. There was only one good move there. It is a mistake. This moves the knight to safety. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. It is good. This is a fair move. It is good. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. Recaptures. It is best. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is excellent. This is the strongest option. It is best. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. That's fine. It is good. 
this overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is good. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players.